you know, I guess I have a few core ones and, and that's such a great question, uh, Jean. So thank you. Like, like some, it's a few core ones for me. Um, first and foremost, meditation is my primary number one. If I don't meditate, I will, I will feel the difference as I move through my day. Um, mm-hmm. so I have like a little mantra that I use, which is like center before I enter. And, um, and I think of life, like mostly yeah. it's happening within three relational frameworks, the first one is me to me. The second one is a one-to-one and me to you. And then the third one is the collective me to we. And so I, I look at my life, my self-care practice starts with the understanding. Did I just get up and go me to you, me to you, me to you, me to we, me to we. And then it's the end of the day and I'm like, what about me? And do, do I have time for myself? So I like to plant those very intentionally. Um, so meditating is a way to connect with myself first and foremost and my my like on my three g's my my ground my gratitude and my guidance um and then from and that, there if that's in the morning yeah preferably like that's that's before i go into the day um from there um i like to have what i call clean as clean as i go practices meaning that I find something I do regularly throughout the day. The main one I, I turn to is washing my hands because I find out I tend to like wash my hands, like whatever, like how many times a day do you wash your hands? You know, every time you use the restroom, you're washing it so, eh, five, six, seven times. I don't know. You know, it's so like a lot of times to then take the accumulation of any stress or tension or dysregulated energy and just take a few falling out breaths, which are like in through my nose and out through my mouth and just clear and kind of like an etch a sketch. I'm just going to reset any of the scribbles so that as I move through my day, I'm not meeting each experience from the accumulation of the, of the past experiences, but I'm resetting the board often. So by the time I get to my evening practice, I'm, I'm clear and I'm setting the tone for good sleep. And so sleep is important. Um, eating healthy is important. Finding a way to move my body every day. Um, ideally, I had struggled with that for a while and, um, but like really reclaimed that recently. So sometimes that's, that's a jog. Sometimes that's the gym. Sometimes that's a physical yoga practice. Um, or really love like going on bike rides. That's been one of my favorites. And, but those are some key things. Uh, writing, I'm a writer. So writing is a way for me to channel my, any emotions that are trying to figure themselves out. Um, so I particularly love to write. Um, and then it sounds funny, but like teaching is a self care practice for me. I always feel more clear and centered after I'm in a space holding capacity um, because it, it just opens the channel and it feels like I'm not, it doesn't feel like teachings coming from me, but it's like coming through me. So I'm just like on the receiving end of it a moment before it comes out of me. Um, so um, that, and then the last one I would say is like a um, meaningful conversation um, is, is a self care practice for me when I can authentically connect with other human beings it, it helps me to feel like um, safe in this world, like that, like it's not just a bunch of me versus you, self and other, you know, everybody's out for themselves. I realize there's a lot of beauty in humanity is beauty in sharing our stories, hearing our journeys, being of service to each other. 